Hatem için öyle aska yok. Ya, ham için öyle aska yok. Tabii. Mimiye tayinen için öyle as. Meren yuma kapal. Mang Islander. Dragon. Magkano po ito? Ano mo? 100 pesos. Buka natin tong dragon. Ay, naabutin ka na. Talit boss. Thank you. Salamat po ah. Ito na yung binili natin chinelas. So, chinelas guys were all the Those who are not Filipino, this is the flip-flops, local flip-flops here in the Philippines and we're going to do some social experiment with this and I'll explain it to you why later if we use this already, okay? So guys, we just bought our chinelas. So for all of you who are wondering what is a chinelas is... A chinelas is a local Filipino flip-flops and it's really cheap, it's very affordable. So the pair that I bought was just 100 pesos, so that's around 2 US dollars. So really affordable and it's actually the footwear that most Filipinos wear, especially in their house, going out to the beach, anywhere. and. The reason why I bought it, a lot of you may be wondering why I bought it for this video is because I'm going to try to play with them and see if it still performs because a little background about that guys while we're driving is chinelas when I was growing up I used to wear chinelas and played with my chinelas really had different kinds of chinelas growing up I wear until they broke down until the straps um, broke and those were a lot of memories playing with my chinelas really brings back a lot of memories so I'm going to try to do a performance test with them they still can be played and if they are still durable like how I used to have them and let's see and we're going so show you our ambience so that's our view right now so we're going to a spot that I saw a couple of months ago and I think that's the perfect place to performance test the chinelas and I'm pretty excited to do this because it's a different performance review I hope you like this video and wow beautiful beautiful outdoor right now it's early in the morning yeah, we are in the province of Batangas and I'm spending my lockdown here my quarantine where there's not a lot of people ah, set up provincial life sometimes it's really um, I really wish that I could um, retire now and just live in the province have a simple life and live by the beach uh, perfect but um, we have our responsibilities so I think we're nearing now so I'll get back to you guys when we reach our destination So I'm buying taho from a local vendor. Yeah, nakamotoro siya. Kating bisan original taho. 
that is coming from the province. So it's 20 pesos. Ayan, bibili tayo ng taho. 20. For morning protein. Salamat kuya. Ayan, taho natin. Para sa umaga. Yeah. Salamat. Thank you. Crop. Guys, we're here in the spot. So I have the Chinelas right here. So it's a Dragon brand and uh, I'm not too familiar with this brand. When I was growing up, the brands that I used was the Islander and what else? But I remember Islander because those were my favorites. Those had really thick soles. Like this thick, it's dual layered. So I really love those because they're very durable. But this is the standard flip-flops that we have. And this is the cheaper ones. The thicker ones are more expensive. So we are here and we're going to try them out. And I hope that they will allow me to play. Well, ask permissions to the locals here. And let's go. In it. Uh, the sun is really out right now. No clouds. And guys, look at the floor. You say crack and even. So, you can practice again dribbling skills, you guys. And if you hit those spots, you can bounce in different directions. Symbol. You know, hello, guys. The vlog. <laughs> And so, so yeah, so I grew up playing in these kinds of floors. Uh, I remember uh, not the outdoors, Salmon before was um, old apartments, and we have to go down near by the river, and we would play there non stop the whole day, even if the scorching sun is out. We still play and I was one of the smallest because I was one of the youngest and we were playing with the, our titos, uncles, the titos are uncles and older people, older kids and we will be shooting for uh, the chance to play so whoever shoots first will get the chance to play so it was kind of fun and we were playing in this size of floors and um, quartz that are made of this one is actually made out of metal eh? before kahoy lang or wood and this is a smaller rim yep and bakal with the wood with stones as a weight so that the court won't um, go down and so yeah still be testing this out so so far so good on a rough floor I was really and makapit naman sa outdoor use okay sa so saya saya so guys uh, I just finished playing with my chinelas or the local Filipino flip flops we wear this inside the house outside the house playing basketball in the beach and right now I did some wear testing on this dragon brand and here is my verdict for this chinelas. First, we start off with the upper of the chinelas, guys. The only upper of the chinelas is the strap, the tong strap. So material, good in my opinion so far, but it has to endure a lot of uh, hours to really test this. But so far, so good. It's not brittle. It's really soft and stretchy. And usually, 
based on my experience on my chinelas they can last you for years so that's what's good about chinelas as for the support and containment bah. poor or none at all because it's a tongue it's a rubber plastic so when you're stopping your foot will really slide off the footbed if that's what you call on these chinelas it will slide off the chinelas and even the toes will be touching on the soil or on the land where you're stepping or playing so it's really bad and i remember when i was growing up i used to have lots of calluses or callos in my feet because for that reason that i'm slipping out of my chinelas so it's really touching the ground and i'm actually playing with the chinelas and my toes that's scraping off the floor or the land there were lots of calluses when I was growing up but I didn't have any complaints there we had a lot of fun those I think are my fun memories growing up um, even though we didn't have a proper court and we actually have a smaller court near our house we live on the second floor and it's a small court and we could dunk on them and I think that's one of uh, the things that made me jump a little bit higher when I was younger because we were really forced, uh, me and my cousins and my neighbors, uh, we really wanted to dunk the ball on the rim. And we were playing on a kid's ball so we could grip it really hard. And the ring was the exact size of the ball and we could dunk it. And I remember doing horse and one of my neighbors were doing the... He was stepping on the wall before he did the between the legs. So those were fun times. Even though we had a small court, even my classmates from elementary would go to my house and play on our small court. So those are little things that you can never take for granted in life. When you are small, you would appreciate everything. And I hope that even if we're grown up and sometimes I'm guilty of it, I sometimes forget to appreciate the simple things in life. So when you're a kid, you appreciate more and I hope I don't lose that. And also that's a reminder for all of you guys who are watching this video, especially the younger ones. Don't take life for granted. Appreciate everything. Appreciate what's happening in your life even though there's a struggle. It will still help you. Like the saying goes, which doesn't kill you, makes you stronger. I think that's true. So appreciate everything, learn from everything, learn from every experience, and just be happy in life. Just struggles, but continue smiling while you're experiencing it. So back to the chinelas, and let's go to the midsole and outsole, because it's just one foam. It's like the curry, the curry aid. So this flesh area is the foam, and the traction is also part of the foam. So the traction first, the traction is really really shallow. It's really non-existent because you're just using it for, for the house. You can play it for outdoors because the floors or the land is really rough. So you'll get the traction out of the land versus getting the traction out of the chinelas. And it really is still holding up. The grooves are still there. You can see that the grooves are still there. I was really trying to go on the rougher parts of the court and it's not ripping because it's very pliable, very flexible. So, so that I think is the reason why it's not ripping. I think the rubber is just flexing based on your movements. So I think traction is for outdoor courts is very, very good. And of course, let's talk about the midsole, the foam of the chinelas for this dragon. Standard chinelas is, of course, the cushion is uh i would say it's bad because you won't feel any bounciness it's really thin there's a little bit of impact protection but basing on how thin the foam is the impact protection for a very thin foam is good enough so that's for the cushion and traction of the chinelas and the sizing of the chinelas it's really i think a uh, one full size down from your regular basketball sneaker and very similar to our other flip-flops. Based on my experience, I usually go a full size down on my flip-flops. I think get the same size with your other flip-flops with your chinelas. And like I said in the beginning, the chinelas is worth 100 pesos for my pair. So that's $2, 2 US dollars. And you can get a more expensive one, more high quality one. And those with thicker rubbers are relatively more expensive. And of course, the branded flip-flops, chinelas.
that are very flexible that you can use in any occasion. I think for 100 pesos, it's totally worth it. And for the experience that you'll be getting, especially playing on an outdoor court, uh, it was really fun. And I'm thankful for the locals here that they let me play in their community courts. And shout out to Atelisa and Mita. So thank you for Atelisa. Kidding aside, props to the government officials, local government officials who build courts like this in their community. I think it really helps out in the kids the, to stay away from vices like drinking, drugs especially. And they would lean more towards sports like basketball. I think that's one of the things that I'm totally grateful for basketball is. Basketball really took me away from the vices, especially from drinking because a lot of my friends were drinkers when I was growing up and they would invite me going out but I would choose to stay in and play and practice and at the back of my mind I won't drink because I would lose my resistance and endurance when I'm playing so I would pass on drinking sessions late at night but I would go out every now and then but not as often as they would so I think that's one thing that I'm really totally thankful of course also smoking I veered away from smoking because because I want to keep my endurance and resistance because smoking will really put your endurance down so that's another thing that I benefited from playing basketball or playing other sports like swimming I used to compete in swimming too those are the things that you would benefit from sports is you would have a better health I'm really thankful for basketball for that. This vlog is actually not a total serious performance review. It's just a reminiscing performance review of the chinelas. I used to play with this when I was growing up and I just want to remember it. And it was a fun experience, especially going out here in the fields, in this province, and playing outdoors in the scorching sun. Look how bright the sun is. It's just 9 o'clock in the morning. So hot. I think. I have a sunburn right now but it was fun a very nice experience i hope you like this vlog guys this video this performance review whichever you may call this and i'll try to shoot some more if i can but i'm really really sweaty i think i'll finish up on my taho for all of you who are still playing with the chinelas let me know your most memorable experience playing with the chinelas or what chinelas brand you are playing right now Hit me a comment down below. This has been Marches once again. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys. Especially this vlog or this review is close to my heart. And thank you. And if you like this video, put a thumbs up and share it if you can. Of course, subscribe here in my channel and in my Instagram. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.